What is going on, everybody? Extreme Card Breaks. We are here on this federal holiday to open up a few 1990 Upper Deck baseball boxes. Now, the chase really from back then, there's you're trying to find the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Upper Deck Auto that was put into these. Now they had different ones throughout the years, you guys know. So odds of hitting one were very, very hard. This stuff was very massively overproduced. I'll put the box a little more sideways here for you. But some of the good greater cards in here, of course, Nolan Ryan, Ken Griffey Jr.'s second year. There was no major well there was. There this year I think it might have been high series though, had uh a Nolan Ryan area to where it didn't have the stripe going across for, I believe it was just 300 to win. So, we're going to try to see what we can pull out of this. I did bring the old trusty uh, bag down here, so we'll be going a little bit quicker today than normal. Oh, maybe not, because the packs just want to go fly, because these were old foil packs. I really liked uh, Upper Deck back in the day. It was a great product. I miss it immensely especially out of like basketball football even baseball they still do hockey but they just had something about them that you know really brought out you know collecting again from back in the day we got box back like that all right so these here were really easy to open i mean well i lied they were were easy to open back in the day until you get the hang of it so we'll take a look see what we got out of here I mean, PSA 10-wise, there's nothing that's going to be crazy amounts of money into it or anything. But it's just something fun to open from back in the day. And we figured we'd see what it is just to start clearing out some room in the old, uh, well, I call it my closet, but basically it's where I keep all this stuff at. And it's just been sitting around for a long, long time. I wanted to try to... <clears throat> tone down the what they call the junk error collection that I've got going on here so we'll see what we can do here if I do remember right these cards go every which way I'm not gonna if they do still go every which way let me look real quick I'll find out on this pack yeah see they go every which way so I'm gonna flip through them you're gonna see them upside down backwards every which way just so we're not sitting here for, gosh, I don't even know, a couple, probably an hour, hour and a half trying to flip through this stuff. But we'll see what we can get out of this. Maybe some cool stuff from back in the day. Like I said, mostly grippy second years. Now, remember, these also had the holograms on the back, which you remember before, I believe these were diamond at 89. There we go. And those holograms there are what's key. See how that's chipped? PSA would not give her a 10. So the hologram is key when grading these. I can tell you that now. I mean, along with your centering and all that other craziness. But you really got to pay attention to it if you do want to mail something in to get graded. Man, this is just not like opening up Bowman packs. You start getting that mentality from when you open up just so much other product. You go back to stuff like this, and they're just the old foil packs. All right, let's take a look. See, what we got in the first row here. Oh, the rookie checklist. You guys want to take a look at it with me? So in this year here, your rookies. Eric Anthony was sought after, Steve Avery, Juan Gonzalez, Marquise Grissom, Kevin Moss, who really didn't do much after that. Uh, Tino Martinez, Ben McDonald, of course, Jose Offerman, Olerud, Deion Sanders, Sosa, uh, Ventura, Greg Vaughn. All these dudes just from back in the day I can remember from looking at them. I can tell you right off the bat, there we go, Sammy Sosa. Rookie. And we'll take a look here together at the hologram. See how that hologram scratched up in here? That would probably come back as a 9 to an 8. Just sucks, but I figure I'd point stuff out like that to people because a lot of people are new to collecting and they 
are used to the way Bowman and stuff like that looks like. And they're like, oh, I got the perfect set of Sammy Sosa, but the holograms jacked up, so it sucks. We'll go through these at the end here and see what we pull, but. Maybe I will flip some of these around. This was a cool set. I remember putting this together as a kid. Wow. The little, uh, what do you want to call it? This thing here. The stickers, holograms, sticking right to the cards. Those are your checklists from back in the day. Juan G, rookie. What's cool is by doing this in the camera, I don't have to loop it later. Well, it might not be bad for a hologram. A little bit of scratches on it. So it's getting cold down here in Kentucky. I turned the heat on uh, today, finally, just to make sure it's working all right. So you know how you turn your heat on the first time you smell it? It's got that weird smell. Man, I just everywhere. <laughs> Good old Mark McGuire. Watch this, our sticker's lucky at the edge. There's the famous Kevin Moss, Yankee dude. I'm going to put him off to the side just so I can... Kind of get an idea of what we're getting into these. Deion Sanders rookie. So we're pulling some nice rookie cards out of here. Nothing of this. I mean, the Sanders way out center is going to be like something to where you're like, oh, my gosh, it's just uh, we're going to be worth so much. Stuff was so overproduced that, you know, people thought it was going to be like 89 upper deck where it was chasing the Griffey, and they just bought into it. And even though people would not admit 89 upper deck was overproduced, uh, I can tell you now. I was at card shows, and there were dudes from Upper Deck going around selling Griffey rookies for like a piece, 10 bucks, and then you could buy all the errors. There was stuff going on that a lot of people don't realize back then. Who knows, Upper Deck might never even admit to it. I don't know if they ever have or not, but I can sit there and purposely remember I was uh, at a show, and I was helping a guy out, and they came around with them. I was like, What? I wanted to buy these packs to get it, but they were only offering it to vendors back then. And it was basically to help sell their product and having people try to chase the cards. Bert Olimar was pretty cool. Uh, Carlton Fisk, old, old there. Still catching though. I think I want to stack these. I forgot to get a box out of the garage. I've started a new one, much as we've been opening here. Conseco. Greg Jeffries, Dwight Gooden, I 
There's a Steve Avery rookie. Marquise Grissom rookie. Maybe this year wasn't the one where you started chasing all the... I thought this was like Reggie Jackson or something. I could be wrong. The 90s kind of blur together with me. But without pulling one of them little... Uh, I thought they were called like he I forget, like heroes cards yet. I'm kind of thinking it's not in this. For some reason, I don't know why I was thinking it. Well, maybe not. Might have started in 91. What is nice about these foil packs, I will say, is that when you're trying to throw them away, they're not like sticking your gloves, like the static electricity isn't there. A second Marquise Grissom rookie. Daryl Strawberry. On check. There's our second Marquise Grissom. Greg Vaughn rookie. There's Sabo. Tom Glavin. Larry Walker, Harold Baines. It's great people from this year. Griffey Jr. checklist. That's always cool. That's a team checklist. Hmm, kind of weird. We haven't seen a regular Griffey yet. There we go. Coming right off. Mike Greenwell. Tell you what, my shoulder is kind of really sore today. Ricky Jordan. Huh. Ricky Henderson. I got a Henderson collector. I've been saving all those for you know, my, one of his orders, if I ever remember right.
Robin Ventura rookie. Dude took it to Nolan Ryan on the mound. Stack's getting a little bit ridiculous so here. We have a huge stacks in the back here by the horn buzzer for once. Makes me uh want then to have to go out and go get a. I think those are four thousand count boxes behind me. Maybe five thousand, I forget. I think it's five thousand. Mike Schmidt retires card. For some reason I was thinking that was an SSP or SP from back then. Dreams rookie. Here's a bow. Bow knows. Stuff's great for like 50 cent boxes, people looking through it. You'd be amazed at how many people actually will uh, buy this stuff at shows. Because they're still trying to collect them. Dean Palmer, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. I wonder if cool had been Jeter like that back in the day. Uh, Stacks, Steve Sacks. Had a look, it wasn't hitting me. Jeter didn't come out for another three years after it. As you can see, stuff wasn't very easy to hit back in the day. When you got a rookie card, you were getting your money for it. Unlike now where you're getting... Hmm, case breaks and you know you're getting five or six rookies out of the case so i guess really if you open the case this would be you probably get a good stack trying to get some uh, 90s basketball to open up for you guys to show you that way I could chase some Jordan inserts, but I haven't had the luck onto it yet. I'm so used to like trying to make them all go the same way. I have to keep remembering this is like Don Ross. This stuff's just going to go every which way. But this actually forces me to clean up a little bit today by doing this video. Got a lot of videos this weekend. Hopefully, like I see you guys are enjoying them or you getting a chance to watch them during your work week. We'll have to see what's pulled at the end for the hit wise or what I'm calling hits. Not everybody's going to call it all the same thing. Yeah, I don't think the I think the insert started in '91. Now that I think about it, where you chase the autographs. For some reason, I thought it was '90. But it probably would have said so in the box, too. Oh, as soon as she picks it up, we'll go. There we go. Gary Sheffield, rookie was a year prior. 
pretty cool looking card still. Another bow. So you can see there was two bows. You had the All-Star, which is this one here to my right. And then the Royals one right there. So you had two different bows. John Allerud rookie. There we go. Ken Griffey Jr. Second year upper deck. We lost center. Maybe not. Maybe just the way I'm looking at it. looks like the left's more on the right. Ripken. Here's the Ben McDonald. Everybody wanted that. A little bit dinged on the left corner. Another bow. They were pulling Ben McDonald's there, but where I, where I grew up at was wanting them. Kirk Gibson. Stack was getting a little bit crazy there. Oh man, what a night. Kind of tired. Sucks whenever you still you're off and you take like an afternoon nap. It just like ruins you uh, the next day. At least it does for me. I don't know about everybody else. There we go, another Juan G rookie. Off uh, center though. Oops, sorry. Just don't want to take it in the camera. Left to right onto it. But still something cool for like a 50 cent box, you know. People see it, they're like, oh my gosh, it's Juan Gonzalez rookie. Because you don't see this stuff anymore. Everything's all new at these shows. What we call the junk air wax, there's actually a lot of people that like it. Start making me a next stack here. It's getting a little bit tippy there. I am. We are going to be doing a live opening at 86 Don Russ. Uh, probably going to be Thursday. Go live with it. See if we can find something that's worthy to be a PSA 10 of either Conseco or McGriff.
I see a lot of you guys like to, you know, donor us uh, 320 packs. For some reason, we're over a thousand views. That's insane. Maybe the uh, YouTube algorithm hit or something. I have no idea. I think the only thing we ever had it like took off like that right off the bat for like the last probably couple months was a Walmart thing. And it hit, well, had like 180 overnight. And I was like, whoa, let's use it a lot. looky I gotta start updating getting the stuff in the store you guys see some changes to the store yep that's many hours of research on how to do coding mm. trying to see what's going on the phone sometimes I owe people money for rises that sit there for a while there's a third one. Juan Gonzalez, another one off center, pretty bad, but I said still Gonzalez. Good old Eric Anthony. Used to be a big, big, nice card to have. Well, I should for for stuff like that back in the day. Nowadays, people just throw those aside. Back in the day, you pulled a couple of lucky, you were happy. Wow, three checklists in a row. That's a first. Steve Avery rookie again, followed by Robin Ventura rookie. We have plenty of box openings this week too, so make sure you guys got your notifications on. See if we can pull some big, big stuff, Griffey checklist. And now I'm talking about out of uh, Prism Draft basketball and an iMac basketball. One box of Luca. <laughs> Always the question. If I go sell it, there'll be a Luca, and if I open it, there won't be a Luca. That's how it usually goes. Greg Vaughn. I don't know if I'm saving him or not now. Oh, I'll toss him over there. Kevin Moss, rookie. Well, last bit of box one. Mark McGuire. <laughs> I 
When I looked at it, I, was, I wanted to read a Bryce Harper. But it's Brian Harper. I know he's not old, but still, just from looking at newer stuff and you see it, it's like, it takes a second to realize, oh, that's not Bryce. Seiko again. Actually, top vote getter, Will Clark. So one Griffey out of the whole box. All right, let's hit box two up. Let me get rid of these holograms. They're just driving me insane onto the side here. There was one Sosa, three Gonzalez's. I'll go over the ones that were the more of the stuff that I at least uh, sleeved up for the time being. I'll have to take a look see what PSA 10 prices are. Usually if it's like around 25, 30 bucks and I think I got a 10, I'll do it. If it's not, then I just, I mean for 8 bucks, I mean if it's say it's selling for 15, maybe a 20. It's one of those big ifs. You know, you kind of, once you do it, you'd have to get a couple of them to start really, I mean doubling your money is nice. Even if it's like 10 to 20, you know, you have 10 bucks into it and it's worth 20. They sell for 20, but take a look. That one stuck. Face Ricky again. Gary Carter, RIP. Dion Sanders, rookie off center. Flip that end over, I guess I didn't. Griffey's dad. Dion again. So we're going to be in Dion Sanders box this time. Good old Roger Clemens.
Jose Offerman rookie. Another Ripken base. Oh, two stickers in the pack. Oh, they're getting generous on us now. Hey, we know. 46 fall, 45 fall by number 46, Jose Offerman. I do remember, right? The rookies do follow each other. By number wise. Man, that about off center card. Even upper deck was not perfect with miss cuts. Just so you guys can see what I was talking about. Forty two fall by forty three. Three rows left. Really not too bad so far for the amount of rookies and stuff because there's this junk wax and a grippy bunch of other uh, star players in here. If you pick this stuff up, they're cheap guys, I would do it. Again, one day it's all going to be gone because everybody's now opening this stuff. But it's cheap, affordable. Instead of chasing the big hits in $500 boxes, they're out looking for PSA 10s and this stuff and making pretty nice uh, money, I would say, off of it. I mean, it's nothing huge like pulling a 101 Zion or something, but it's still some decent cash to where they're not having to invest, you know. You know, I don't know what some people spend 40000 for multiple cases of products. And, you know, so after they get done grading, they might get 25 30 of it back if they're lucky. Depending on what they hit. But this stuff here, man, to me is a gold mine. It doesn't, isn't being touched because of the new market. It just takes a lot of effort to do it. A lot of time, a lot of patience. And by doing this, though, for me, is that I never get my expectations high now with the newer stuff for the fact that I probably not going to get anything out of it. Where here, you get a box, you get some good star players. You know whatever these people are selling for five ten bucks a box versus you know hundred to five hundred dollars a box and getting skunked this here gives you some time new stuff but that, like i said just me and my thinking i still open the newer stuff with the hopes of one day hitting you know a logo man stuff like that And I'm going to say who he had played this time from 17 now. Average was not good either. Good old Sabo. Very 
Barry Bonds when he's on the Pirates. Skinny Barry. Free taking steroids, Barry. Marquise Grissom. First time they stick together like that. Kind of weird. See, the dog's out cold. She's not liking me being home. Did I screw with her sleep schedule because of doing stuff late at night because I can't sleep? So then she'll come down here and she'll try to sleep and get comfortable, but she really doesn't get that deep sleep. Well, I can't believe we've been going for 40 minutes already. It's insane. Say in the membrane. Some Cypress Hill. Would play music, but we wouldn't be able to get monetized. It would kill the videos. Rookie checklist. I still love that thing. Seeing a lot of different players more frequently in this box than the last one. Okay, enough down there. Wide back when David Cohn, small met action. Drees again. Lots of Drees. All those stickers, holographic stickers. One day watch this. Those are going to be like the gold mine when I'm like 90. Everybody's going to want the stickers. And I'm going to go back to the video and be like, gosh, look, I threw all them stickers away. And now people are paying insane amounts. Hashtag upper deck hologram stickers. At this point, no mail today with the federal holiday. Crazy cats out there wanting to fight. Hashtag never get a cat again, or at least two that hate each other like this. What happens when you basically rescue and adopt because you feel bad? been the high series that had the Nolan Ryan error if I remember now. It's like man we haven't even seen Nolan Ryan yet but I think he was strictly high series with the 300 win thingy. John Allerud rookie. Uh oh, dual sticker. Anyway, how about another Oliver to go with Oliver?
nice little stack of uh, huh, if I did quarter cards, they'd be there. Ben McDonald, rookie. Followed by Ben McDonald, rookie. This would have been a great box back in the day. All the Dion's, Ben's, all the Roots. Trying to pull it away from the hologram pile because it keeps sticking and going back in there. And there's our first Nolan Ryan. He is in this. I thought he was, just haven't seen him. He's just like Griffey. Can't find him. One Griffey. I'll talk about so this must be like the most off centered pack that I've seen. I mean, basically, the whole stack was like miscuts on the front. Oh, we got Bo again. Bo knows. Bo Clark. Sandberg. Ooh, shoulder break. Another Ripken base. All right, guys, last stack. Griffey got to be in this. I found two old boxes. Well, not old, but LeBron rookie boxes in the old closet. One of Fleer Mystique. Everybody remembers that one. And then I believe the one there, I should take it back. I think there's Tops one in there too. Because I think all three of them were there together. But also, there is a. Um, Oh, what the heck is that upper deck brand? Oh, it's not hitting me now. It's not a regular upper deck. Maybe it was SPX, something like that. It was SPX. It's in there. I know. Maybe it's authentic. I can't remember now. I think it's SPX. One day we'll open them. But only when I feel <laughs> it's time. We'll call it like a LeBron Hunt night. All 
Rudder, rudder, rudder. Steve Avery rookie. Seiko. Bring the back things. Steve Avery again. Woohoo! Yeah, Steve Avery hot box now too. Good old Wade Boggs. Ricky Henderson again. I think it's like a third Henderson. Now, if you guys remember, I think there's 600 cards in this set. So, you're not going to get every single card, you know, at every box. Usually it took like probably about three boxes to complete a set unless you had a buddy and you were trading. Good old Clemens again. Ends it. Let's take a look here. Stuff not sleeved. So Kevin Moss, Henderson, there's two Averys, Bo Jackson, only one Nolan Ryan, Ben McDonald's, Allerud, Allerud, Grissom, uh, Henderson, Moss, I can't remember if I say Vaughn, only one of these I believe for the Griffey. There's Ben Shore, holy cow, don't stick to me. Avery, one Eric Anthony, I do know that. Oh, we had two of these. My bad. Checklist. Oops, wrong one. So, we had two Robin Venturas, as you can tell. Four Steve Avery rookies. Oops, I guess I should come back. Three rookies that are base. Two bow base, two bow all stars, two Kevin Mosses. I know some of the stuff's off this side. I was just curious. Three Ben McDonald rookies, three John Allerudes, <laughs> one bad Miss Marquis Grissom, but three there. Stuff I sleeved. There we go. So we got three Deion Sanders rookie cards out of it. 
pretty cool. Three Juan Gonzalez rookies. A Sosa rookie. And one Ken Griffey Jr. Who know? So th this stuff all came with a lot of stuff you're seeing that I spent like 20 bucks on or 30 bucks on. Now when I say that I spent 20 bucks, remember there's more stuff that came with it than just these boxes. So overall value is always there. You gotta do your due uh, diligence and research and try to find buyers for this stuff, get stuff graded. It's a process, but it is worth it in the long run, everybody. But that is the end of me. I thank you very much for watching the video. I will see you guys later this week with a bunch more box openings. This is the last one for this three day holiday I had off. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed your weekend. And if you're still off today for the federal holiday, stay safe. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you always check out ExtremeCardBreaks.com. There are cards for sale. Subscribe to the website as well so you guys get the little uh, emails whenever I do out the uh, for a little coupon codes for the store. Make sure you like the video. See you guys next time.